The Vancouver Canucks draft from St. Petersburg of the KHL, Vasiliev Potstrofa. He was the first player born in the 21st century to play in the <laughs> KHL. Now the first Russian player selected in the 2019 draft. Well, and they're going to have to wait, as Bob mentioned. I'll just tell you this. I think if they didn't have to wait, he could play in the league next year. That's how I really feel about him. So he's big. He's physical. He's a tremendous forward checker. He's not intimidated by physical play. He's ready to play in the league. Well, he's a bulldog player. I mean, and you think about competitiveness. He drives play in all areas of the game. Uh, the defensively, penalty killing, offensively. He, he has one interest, and that's to find a way to get the puck in and around the net. And he, he does it sometimes where he tries to do too much, and that's part of maturity. But once he settles in and understands that less is more, he, he's going to be that much better. I th a lot of people talked about the U18 championships where he wasn't really that prolific. I will tell you this, that's big rink hockey. It's slower hockey. It doesn't <laughs> play to its strengths. And to me, the North American rink is ideal for Vasily Potko. And last August in Edmonton at the Ivan Olenko Wayne Gretzky tournament against his peer group on North American ice, he absolutely dominated the competition. At the World Junior Championship, he was outstanding. They're warming up to this pick a little bit here in Vancouver because when they first heard it, they weren't sure what to think and some of them maybe didn't like it. Here's something else to think about. In the 2010 draft, Russians fell because of the Russian factor, because they thought they might have to wait for them. The two Russians who fell, Vladimir Tarasenko, a top five, top ten talent, went at number 16 to the St. Louis Blues. Evgeny Kuznetsov, a top five, top ten talent in the 2010 draft, went number 26 to the Washington Capitals. I don't have to tell you which two teams won the Stanley Cup in each of the last two years. Each of those teams had to wait four years for Kuznetsov and Tarasenko. It's a two-year wait for Pod Colson.